Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this very bright, very colourful, very, very interesting look. Um, I'm loving the eyelashes. I've seen it a lot on Instagram lately and I've just been obsessed. So I've tied it all in together. You'll see how I do it. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe down below and also leave me a lovely little comment down below so I know if you enjoyed it or not and let me know any video suggestions. <coughs> my voice is going. Make sure to go ahead and follow my Instagram as well. I'll leave everything linked down below as well as the products that I use. So go check the description box out. Other than that, let's get on to the video. Okay, so guys, I actually straightened my hair. But... It's been a few days and I think it's getting greasy already. That's the thing with my hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's quite thin. Today we have a fun, crazy look. I've seen a lot of Instagram inspired looks that's inspired this look really with the rainbow theme and the double cut crease. I've been loving the creative double cut crease and stuff like that. I need some lip balm. I have another crazy thing I'm gonna do, which I'll show you in a, after I've done my eyes. Well, after I've done my face, to be honest, as well. You'll see. I'm gonna be taking the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro Palette. I'm not gonna hold it up because I'll just show what shades I'm gonna be using in a second. So, first I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the P. Louise Base in 01. So how is everyone holding up? Are you still sane? Because I, I'm not. I know a lot of people do the eyebrows first, but I really don't like doing that because the base makeup really gets in the way, basically. And I just prefer to do it last. I'm going to blend it and tap away the excess because I don't want too much on there. How are you liking all my crazy looks at the moment, especially on my Instagram? Um, I haven't done a few of my crazy looks on my YouTube just because I wanted to get them perfect and I feel like I take my time a lot more when I'm not filming. I don't know why. First colour I'm going to go in with is Lit, which is the orange shade, and I'm just going to pop this on my inner portion of my eye. How is everyone holding up? What are you getting up to? I am lucky enough that I've got YouTube and Instagram to keep me entertained, which is fab. Because otherwise I don't know what I would be doing. I'm sorry if my voice sounds croaky by the way. I don't know what's going on with it. Now I'm going to take Keen, which is the yellow shade, and I'm just going to firstly pat this on, on the inner portion of the eye, on top of that orange. I'm really going to blow this out. So yeah, like I said, this video is inspired by the Instagram makeup I've been seeing. Really colourful, crazy looks. I love a bit of colour me. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that already. So I'm liking the way this looks. I want to bring the orange a little bit further up. Like so. I love these eyeshadows. They're so bloody pigmented. Then I'm going to go in with pink, which is called Funky. This is such a gorgeous bright shade. And I'm just going to put that next to the orange. I think this is going to be more based on the eyes today rather than skin. Also, would you prefer me to do dedicated eye videos and then dedicated face videos or would you just rather it all be in one video? Because I would love to know and I kind of want to mix it up a little bit as well. So let me know in the, de in the comments below. Let's 
sunny day again today. So nice. It's not as sunny as last week though. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but it was a lot sunnier last week. Okay, so then I'm going to take a purple, which is called Wasted, and I'm just going to pat that on to start off with. Just to pack that shade on. Very pigmented shade. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the pink again. I can find that if you blend purple and pink together, it can look a little bit patchy. So I'm going to be very careful when doing that. Next is the dark blue, so I'm going to go in with Mood, which is like a navy blue. I actually love this shade. Ties in very nicely with the purple. Gorgeous. And then finally the dark green, which is called Nuke, right on the outer corner with this been really liking the rounded look lately. I think it suits my eyes quite well rather than the pointed look. But I don't know, I, really, I do like the pointed look but loving that so far. I'm going to make sure everything is blended. I am going to repeat that, them steps, just to make sure everything is as opaque as I want it, especially this yellow. Look at that blend. Not too in my own horn or anything, but oh my god, that's beautiful. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut that crease. I'm going to do the same as on this eye, of course. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do for this look is pat a little bit of that P. Louise on my eyelid of course and then look up and see how it's created that line for me. I am going to go slightly above that because we are doing a double cut crease. Okay so next what I'm going to do is go in with the P. Louise basic uh, base in Touch of Frost. Um, I'm going to do this to instead of using the coloured uh, the skin coloured base, I'm going to use it for the blue, just for a base. So next I'm going to go on top of that with an eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the Soft Spot from the eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to go on top of that. It is going to make the base darker. So next I'm going to reapply the P. Louise skin coloured base just like I normally would. Okay, so I have cut that crease and I'm very happy with that. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade. So I'm first gonna do the outer corner part. So I'm gonna take the dark green, which is called Nuke, and just dab that like so. The end of the blue is going to blend into that green. And then I'm going to take the shade Ecstasy, which is the bright lime green, and I'm going to go in the inner portion. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with a medium green, medium shade green, and the shade Hype. I'm just going to... Fill that in. So at this point I'm gonna do my skin. So I know my hair looks crazy right now but I'm very happy with how that eye turned out. I am gonna wipe some of the shadow that fell onto my face off. Okay so for face I haven't got any particular products that I am in love with at the moment. I'm just going through different products and seeing what I like because my skin has been changing. Um, I'm normally dry but now, oh I got a spot, now I think I'm a dry combination. I got a very oily, um, very oily chin that I've come to realise and yeah the rest just seems normal. My forehead's quite dry. Can't win. So I'm going to take 
the NYX Honey Do Me Up primer, which I, this is one of the products I've been liking, ooh, first, because like I said, on my chin, I want to keep that like matte as possible and smooth. So I'm going to take the Revolution Pore Blue Primer. Um, this is going to help keep that area smooth and keep it controlled. So I'm just going to put it around my nose as well. Also, if you haven't sanitised your hands yet, make sure you do that. But now I'm going to go in with the Honey Do Me Up Primer. It's quite annoying getting this product out of the thing though. It smells really great as well. This really adds a nice dew to the face. That's why it's called Honey Do Me Up, I suppose. It gets quite tacky. So it leaves the skin nice and prepped for foundation. I nearly didn't film this today, but I'm glad I did. Okay, so I'm going to take the Morphe foundation. This is the Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. I've been loving a full coverage matte foundation at the moment. Um, but having a hydrating base, because like I said, I'm combination dry, or dry combination. So I'm just going to take a little bit. Mm, it's quite it's quite yellowy but I'm sure it'll be fine because I do have a yellow undertone. I'm going to take it on a brush to begin with. So I'm just going to pat this into the skin and really get it into my skin. Okay so my forehead's looking a little bit dry but I'll sort that out with a bit of setting spray. I really find taking my time with foundation and getting that base looking flawless really does help with the look of the foundation. Next for concealer, I'm going to take the lasting, well, the collection lasting perfection concealer in extra fair zero. This might be slightly too light. I do like this concealer, but I wish the applicator was a lot bigger. Kind of smells like pseudocrem. Is that weird? That is weird, isn't it? Okay, so I'm first going to blend that out with a brush and see how we go. So next, I'm going to take a cream contour. I'm going to take the Rimmel Insta Duo Stick in the shade Light. Now, this I have nearly ran out of. It's so good. I do actually really like it. I don't know what it is, but cream bron bronzer just looks stunning. And this brush as well, the PC21 brush. Love it. Okay, so then to set into my eyes, I'm going to take the RCMA No Colour Powder. And then on top of that, all over my face, I'm going to take the Revolution Matte Base Powder in P4. It's a little bit pinky, but we can work with that. And I'm just going to press that on the rest of my face. So for bronzer slash contour, I'm going to take the MUA Bronzed Mattifying Bronzer in 110. And I am going to only take a little bit of this because we did cream contour. Okay, so my bobble fell out, so we've just got this crazy mess. Now I'm going to go in with the Sleek Blush in Rose Gold. It is a really nice blush. Gorgeous. It's got a very shimmery base to it. I'll pop some on my nose. I'm loving a blush, to be honest. Love it. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera. Do one eye, do my eyebrows, and I'll be right back. Before I start with the eyes, I'm going to go in with highlight. So this is the Revolution and Soph palette. I'm going to take a mix of the two lighter shades. Okay, so then now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the dark green that we took on the outer part and put that on the outer 
portion and bring it into the middle. And I'm going to take a medium green and put it just on the inner portion. And then lastly, I'm going to take the bright shade called Ecstasy. Pop that in the inner corner. Really get that colour. Just like so. Also, I popped in the waterline the same as in the double cut crease, the blue. Same steps. And I'm also going to put the blue on my lower lash line, as in my eyelashes. Then, lashes. I have painted the TL Mitchell uh, from Tatty Lashes with the blue base and then obviously applied the shadow on top just to set them and I'm going to apply them now just for a little bit of extra fun you know. Okay guys so this is the final look. I really hope you love the lashes as much as I do. Oh my god I think they look so cool. So I've been seeing this a lot on Instagram lately and I needed to get on the hype. On my lips I've got the NYX matte uh, suede matte lip liner in Sandstorm and then the Peach and Cream lip gloss in Sisterhood. Um, love the smell of these, they smell gorgeous. So yeah, so that is it, that is everything. So like always everything will be listed and linked in the description box below. Please let me know in the comments section any video suggestions you have and if you enjoyed this video and this look. If you want to see more from me then please make sure to subscribe down below, that would mean the world to me. And make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to also head over to my Instagram, I'll pop it on the screen to see the photos of this look. I really hope you enjoyed it, stay safe guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.